Welcome to Bosco's Bites, I'm Jess, and today I'm gonna to make an iced pumpkin cookie that's gonna be great to take to your child's next Halloween party at school. I have two cups of flour here. I'm just gonna add, I have one teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Add a half a teaspoon of salt, just to balance out all the flavors. Combine all of this, and then let's just set this aside. I have two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. So let's add this right into our mixing bowl. And I have one cup of granulated sugar. We're just gonna look for a creamy texture just to incorporate the butter and the sugar. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our canned pumpkin. I have 2 thirds cup of canned pumpkin. You can also use fresh. Just make sure it's cooked. Add that into our batter. Also add one egg. I love the smell of the pumpkin. It makes it just feel like holidays are coming again. Now we're gonna add our Vosco's Greek yogurt. And we're just gonna use about a fourth cup. I love how Vosco's makes a 16 ounce and also a 32 ounce. It's great, you can just keep it in your fridge and cook with it for so many different things. Mix this all together. I mean, look at the texture already. It's just made it so much more thick and creamy. It's exactly what we're looking for. Just go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. Let's do two batches of this so we don't get it all over us. And go ahead and add in your teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is just such a nice warm spice and it just reminds everyone that it's holiday season. So our batter is ready to go. Let's grab our baking sheet. I have it lined with parchment paper so that it doesn't stick on there. You wanna space these about two inches apart. Oh, I can't wait to try these. I've preheated my oven at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake these for about 15 minutes until they're golden brown. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy glaze that's gonna go right on top of our pumpkin cookies. Just like a half a teaspoon vanilla extract. I have a cup of powdered sugar. And now you just wanna take a teaspoon and pour some into the powdered sugar. That was about three teaspoons so far. And you just wanna mix it together. Now if it gets a little too thick, add some more water. If it's too thin, just add a little bit more powdered sugar. I like a nice thick glaze. So you wanna just take your spoon, see how nice stream comes off that spoon. Drizzle right over the top. This is a great project for your kids to do especially since this is for their school party. Let the cookies cool on the baking sheet so that the drizzle doesn't get all over your kitchen counter. And you just want this to set just for less than five minutes or so. Icing will get a little firm and then we'll go ahead and place it on our platter. I just added a little bit of the candy corn in there. Just makes it a little bit more festive. Remember, if you have a Halloween party to send your kids off to, try our Vosco's Ice Pumpkin Cookies. They're better than good.